Hi friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see the answers and the discussion for week 8 assignment 8 for the co NPTEL course Introduction to Database Systems. So let's get into the video. The first question is, consider the statements given below. Statement 1 is, for a given FT set, there exists exactly one minimal cover. Statement 2 is for a given FD set, there may exist more than one minimal cover and all minimal covers are equivalent to each other. Choose the correct option. So a minimal cover of a set of functional dependencies E is a minimal set of dependencies that is equivalent to E. So we can always find at least one minimal cover F for any set of dependencies E. So we cannot say there exists exactly one minimal cover. We can always find at least one minimal cover. So the answer to this question is statement 1 is false and statement 2 is true. So the answer is C. The next question is for a FD set F is equal to A, de A derives BC, CD derives E, E derives C, D derives AE. Find the minimal cover FM. So the minimal cover is nothing but, so how will we find minimal cover? A set of functional dependencies F is set to cover another set of functional dependencies E if every FD in E is also in F closure. That is, if every dependency in E can be inferred from F. So based on that, if we, uh, so we, we will be proceeding by finding out, we'll be, the first step in finding the minimal cover is, we'll be ensuring that we have a single attribute in the RHS in all the FDs. And then we'll proceed. The next step would be to eliminate redundant attributes in the LHS. So going on in that procedure, the answer to this question would be option A. The next question is, given the following relation instance, which of the following functional dependencies are satisfied by the instance? The right answer to this is YZ determines X and Y determines Z. That is option B. The next question is, let R is equal to A, B, C, D, E, F be a relation scheme with the set of all functional dependencies that hold on it as C determines F, E derives A, E, C determines D, A determines B. Which of the following is a key for R? So they are asking which of the following is a key. The answer to this question is E, C. The next uh, question is, Consider a relation R of A, B, C, D and the set of all FDs that hold on the relation R. A derives C, B, C derives D and B derives A. Choose the correct option. So here they are asking which of the which of them are prime attributes. Prime. So an attribute on a relation schema is said to be a prime attribute if it is a member of some candidate key of the relation schema. So here the right answer to this is option B. Only B is prime attribute. The next question is, consider a relation R of A, B, C, D, E and the set of all FDs that hold on R as A derives C, B, C derives D and B derives A. Find the candidate keys of R. The right answer to this is only B, E is the candidate key for R. The next question, consider a relation R which contains the attributes A, B, C, D, E and the set of all FDs that hold on R. A derives B, C, C, D derives E, B derives D and E derives A. Choose the correct option. We have to say uh, in which normal form the relation schema R is present. So the right answer to this is R is in third normal form but not in B, C, N, F. The next question, consider a relation R with only simple candidate key. Simple candidate keys means no candidate key in the relation schema has more than one attribute. Choose the most appropriate option. So when a relation R has only simple candidate keys, that is there are no composite attributes in the candidate key, then there is no need for testing for second normal form. So the right answer to this would be the relation R can be in second normal form, but may not be in third normal form because when a candidate key has only one attribute, there is no need for us to check for partial dependencies because the need itself does not arise. So it can be in second normal form, but may not be in third normal form. Question number nine, consider the following two sets of functional dependencies. So you have F, which contains A determines C, AC determines D, E determines AD, and E determines H. And G, which consists of A determines CD and E determines AH. Choose the correct option. So if... F covers G and G also covers F, 
then we can say that f and g are equivalent. So here in this set of functional dependencies, f covers g as well as g also covers f. So we can say that, so the answer to this is f and g are equivalent. Next question number 10, consider the following statements. Statement one is any relation schema with two attributes is always in BCNF. And statement two is any relation schema with three attributes is always in BCNF. Choose the correct option. So the right answer to this is any relation schema with two attributes is always in BCNF. This is true. But uh, the, uh, the second statement, any relation schema with three attributes is always in BCNF is not true. So the right answer to this is option B. Yes, one is true and yes, two is false. That's all for the answers. See you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.